so we now we discuss the factor which influence milk composition. There are a number of factors which influence to the composition of milk. So we have to accept to each other that what milk composition is not fixed value, it's not constant over the time. But somehow it still varies depending on a certain factors that we discuss in this part. The first one is the breed of cows. There are a number of dairy cow breeds. These are the typical dairy cow breeds that you need to learn by heart. The name the are Shy Brown Sweet Jersey, uh, Milking Shorten Jersey, and Hosting. And these two breeds are the most popular uh, dairy cow breeds in Vietnam. And when we talk about dairy cow, they normally take this photo, this image to show for advertisement and so on. But they are quite different appearance for different bricks and then you can see so they normally have kind of large uh, memory glands then can they produce a uh, large volume of milk every day this table will show us what the difference in the main component concentration of main component including fat proteins lactose uh, minerals and total solid among different breeds so we have that the fat can then vary somehow, protein vary somehow. The difference between the breeds is smaller than the difference between the milk of different species of animal. For example, the difference between breeds of Ashine brush is normally smaller than the difference in milk composition between cow milk and buffalo milk, between cow milk and human milk. And then the second factor is the season uh, and nutrition. These go together because the season determine the nutrition. Along the months of the year, the feed that the dairy cow eat is not the same. That's for example, in developed countries like in Europe, in the summer, cows eat a lot of fresh grass on the field. They walk on the field, they eat fresh grass. But during the winter, the weather is very cold. The snow will cover all the grass, cover all the trees, and so on. There is no more fresh grass. And then in the winter, the cow eat more silage. Silage is a lactic acid fermented grass, for example, or corns together with concentrated fish and some of them may have the oxygen from animal materials like the byproduct from animal slaughtering for example they can use us to make animal feed and then at what do we see here for example this month are the summer and then this month now the winter during the summer the cow eat more fresh grass grass has more water so milk is somehow more diluted so you see that the total solid during the summer month is somehow a bit lower than the total solid compared to other months and then we can see the composition of the lactose of the fat of the proteins of the mineral and they vary somehow throughout the months of the year and then what do we see here? Figure A will show the firmness of butter. Butter is made from milk fat, from the fat of milk, and butter normally contains 82% of fat. And then the fat of milk will determine the properties of butter. During the summer, as you see here, these are summer months, the cow again eat fresh grass and fresh grass normally contain also lipid but more unsaturated lipid. Unsaturated lipids normally is softer in the texture and then the butter make from the fat of this man normally softer but in the winter the cow will eat more silent and concentrated feed quite some amount of fat from animal source the normally fat these fats are more saturated means harder okay because in the winter the cow eat saturated fat so the fat in the meal is more saturated higher percentage of saturated fat in the milk fat in the 
the winter then the better become harder and the same we can explain the what is that please I am now back so so Celes will contain more separated fiber. Can you Celeste? can you ask again? So the silage will contain more saturated fat, right? Not the silage, but the concentrated feed, the feed from animal source. Okay. Okay. okay, the people use the byproduct from animal slaughters, like the bone, like the uh, tendon skin, and whatever part they use that to make animal feed. And normally, the fat in animal material is more saturated than the fat in the plant materials. Okay, and then if we look at this, is the effects of the season on the color of milk fat in the summer again? The cow eat more fresh grass, which contain more beta carotene, which contain more yellow color. If you remember, beta carotene is the component which is responsible for the yellow or the orange color of new fat. And in the summer, they can eat more of that from uh, fresh grass. And then we discussed a bit on homeostasis. What is homeostasis? This is a mechanism that each living organism has. Any living organism has this mechanism. To what? To control the composition of the fluid in the body, including the milk, including the blood, including fluid in mushroom, and so on, regardless of the what they eat. Okay. So whatever the living animal eat, the composition of the fluid in the body uh, are kind of control as much as possible. Okay. So whatever uh, the cat, the cat may be drink a lot of water but the milk is somehow a little bit more diluted but it's not very much diluted because for the body to function the fluid composition should be maintained only drained in a certain level a uh, certain range this is also to to be sure that for example the milk should be milk all over the time to provide nutrient to the babies, example. Otherwise, if the mother cow eats something strange, then it will harm to the baby. But this is not the case because the homeostasis. Again, I will just start to repeat here. Due to the homeostasis, whatever the animal eat, the fluid in the body, including milk, including blood, will be maintained the composition as much as possible still somehow is still influenced by the food by the feed 